And our final fibre for this round of the non-wool club is um, these, which are silk hankies. So they'll come as a huge, great big giant, giant stack. Some will have more bits, layers stuck together than others. But basically you will need to find the edge and peel off a section. When you've got that section, what you're then looking for is the very edge bit where it will look like it's slightly thicker. Now, each one of these hankies is an individual silk cocoon. And the idea is you want to peel off just a single cocoon. So I think that that is more than one because it's still quite thick on this edge. And it can sometimes take a while. There we go. And moisturizer is helpful when it comes to spinning these if you are a gardener or you do things with your hands a lot that means they're a bit rough you will find that they do want to stick to everything and um, but they do spin into quite an interesting texture jar okay once you think you've definitely got down to a single layer you definitely can't split it off into any smaller ones you've now got to a point where that is a single silk cocoon and you'll see some parts that are a little bit thicker than others and all you're going to do, poke a hole in it, pull, and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. And it's a bit like stretching chewing gum. And with these, essentially, you do most of the drafting work before you start introducing twist. Now, you can either do lots and lots of preparation beforehand and create a little pile of nests. Um, but I find that that tends to be quite tiring because it's quite physical work pulling them apart so I tend to sort of do one stop stretch another one out and do and do another one rather than end up needing to do lots now you will not be able to spin this into a perfectly smooth yarn and can you see how far apart I've got my hands if you try and draft this fiber with your hands there nothing's going to happen you need to have your hands a good 30 40 centimeters sort of a foot apart from one another and as you spin you will be able to do a little bit more drafting this is a yarn that works incredibly well as a single style yarn you don't necessarily need to ply it because the long staple length means it's very resistant to pulling so the reason you had to have your hands so far apart is that basically you've got the longest staple silk fibers that you can possibly get that's why silk hankies are incredibly expensive because in essence it's a single cocoon that they cannot get any of the multiple silk products from so there's sort of very little profit to it if you're struggling remember hands further apart to do the pulling and don't worry about it if it's slightly thick slightly thin that's part of the texture of spinning from silk hankies if you're finding the spinning hard and going i'm never going to use this you can knit with just the unspun silk hankies and it makes a very, very warm fabric um, that's incredible at trapping a huge amount of air. So you can just do the stretching part and just knit straight from them. Or you can also do the stretching parts and weave from them and it makes a beautiful silk fabric. Um, I will put up a picture on the um, blog of some cushions that I made using that technique. Um, and they look, they look stunning. So. That's my tips for spinning spinning silk hankies. They're a bit like Marmite. Some people love working with them. Other people hate working with them. They can be quite tough on your hands. So be kind to yourself if you're finding it a little bit tough. They might be one of those things that projects that you work on in stages. But you can see how long just one hanky goes on for. Because I'm still only sort of about halfway through this one. Still got a huge pile of silk down here. So... They are a fibre that will go on a long way, so you enjoy spinning with them.